We've launched Calculator version 2. Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can use calculation-based logic and logic-based calculation in a quiz. We're better than a quiz. Let's go. Well, now here is my form. As you see, I have all the questions and now I want to make it multi-step because I want to jump to these sections based on the question, uh, their final results. So in the design tab of my form editor, and I'll get it here and turn it into multi-step. And when I save and refresh my form, you see that it's now multi-step. Now, based on each question, I want to calculate the score in a variable. And for that, at the end of my questions, I will add a variable field right here and uh, name it based on my responses. I have four responses as I showed you. Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, and Yoda. I want to score each of them, each of these variables, and finally decide what is their result? What is the personality of the responder? So here I have Darth Vader and by clicking on this I can duplicate the field. Perfect. Now I have all of my questions and my variables as well and now it's time to calculate. To calculate I'll go to the logic tab and here I have all of my questions. I get to the advanced logic because it's easier to handle it from here. Here based on each of these questions I will calculate the personality. So to calculate I click on the add condition if the film genre was action i want to add like one point to Darth Vader. Here I will add another condition added for each of my characters and each of my points. Perfect. Now I have added a calculation for each of my uh, answers for the first question and I'll move on to the next questions and add points based on the responses. Let me show you how it works. Based on each of these answers, I will add points to each of my variables and in the end I want to compare these variables and show their response based on the final score. So let's go. I have added all the logic in all questions and I've added some weight to each of my variables to show how they can calc they can be calculated. Uh, so uh, for uh, for example for this question uh, I'm saying if the answer to this question was uh, option one add one point to Leia uh, if it was option two add one uh, one point to look and if it was uh, uh, option three to dark and option four to Yoda. I'm adding points to each of my variables. In the end, I have four variables that each have a score, a final score. And now I want to compare them together. So now I get to my last question, which is this one. And I will add a new condition. I say if Darth Vader is greater than three, because uh, why three? Because uh, I have four characters and ten questions. So if uh, the user answers uh, one to each of uh, answers all of the questions, and let's say the first four questions are get uh, one uh, score to each of the variables. For example, question one, uh, one point to Dart, uh, question two, one point to uh, Luke, uh, question three, one point to Leia, and then Yoda. So each of them are uh, one now. And for the next four questions, again, it happens. Uh, one to Dart, one to Luke, one to Leia, and one to Yoda. Uh, each of these variables now have two points, so I have two questions left. So um, the other, um, um, I have two variables with uh, point three. So um, here I I will calculate it this way. If uh, because uh, the most uh, the least uh, score is three, so um, I say if Darth is greater or equal to uh, three and Luke is less than or equal to 3, and Leia is less than or equal to 3, and Yoda is less than or equal to 3, then jump to Darth Vader. 
And for the next question, I say if Luke is um, greater than three and Leia is less than three and Yoda is less than three. I didn't put uh, Darth Vader here because uh, in the uh, condition above it, I checked Darth Vader and I, I know that Darth Vader is uh, not greater than three because it passed this condition and jumped to the next condition. Uh, so uh, when you're putting your conditions, your logical conditions, uh, make sure and understand that uh, the first, uh, the top condition uh, works first. And if it didn't happen, it moves to the next condition. If uh, the dart uh, variable isn't uh, greater than three, I move to the second condition. And here I see that um, Okay, Luke is greater if it's if Luke is greater than three and the other the the other two variables are less than three. I, I will jump to Luke. And uh, for the next one, I say if Leia is greater than three, and I'll add another condition here. Yoda is less than or equal to three. Then jump to Leia. The same for Yoda, but Yoda is my last variable and it's safe to say just Yoda because I'm sure up to here that Leia is less than three, Luke is less than three, and also Darth Vader is less than three. So uh, I'm sure that it's Yoda now. Yep. And the other was is just a safe answer and make sure if in any case it's not possible, but if in any case none of those apply, uh, uh, it is possible actually if you don't mark your questions as required variables won't be scored in that question because the responder might jump from uh, uh, that question and skip it and there won't be any score in that question it's best to make all of your questions as required to make sure that all of your scores are calculated and you can have a perfect logic in your quiz so here after my quiz is ended for example it shows Darth Vader the question after Darth the dark Vader is Luke Skywalker, but I don't want it to show Luke Skywalker. I want to jump back to the beginning of the quiz. So for example, the person can take the quiz once more, or I might want to ask them to submit the form. So I'll get to back, back to my logic. And here I will say always jump to the first question, or you can say always submit the form and add it for all of your final responses. Perfect. Now let's see how it works. Uh, here I have my quiz. Yep. So I'm a Darth Vader. Here you can also shuffle your questions or the options in your questions so the user doesn't get biased or anything. It's in the design tab. Here you can find the shuffle fields order and also shuffle the order of the choices. So I'll enable this one. Or if you don't want to shuffle the order of choices in all questions, you can click on each question separately and shuffle the options in it. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you had any questions, just comment down below. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Bye for now.